Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. Today, I will be giving you guys some quick tip or a guide on preparing for the Anthem 2.0 update. Now, with the latest confirmation from Bioware and my experiences with a lot of MMO looters, there are a couple of things that you will have to do to prepare, and I will also explain to you why you should do these things. Also note that this is based off what Bioware has confirmed themselves. So without further ado, let's get started. My first step is going to be for you to start farming resources and begin scrapping excess or unrelevant items. This means that you just have to go into missions with the hope of just picking up every single thing. If you get a legendary of an item with way better stats, you can scrap the lower tier items or the duplicates that just has crappy stats. But don't scrap the god tier ones. Bioware will also be reworking the entire core of the gameplay, which includes the modern system, the components, the inscriptions, all those things will be getting reworked so a lot of those stats will be changing and of course we will be getting a stat sheet at the end of that update as well so with bioware reworking the core of the gameplay this means that some of the masterwork gear that you have will likely perform better than some of your legendaries if they have better stats but anything lower than the masterworks here scrap every single one of those for embers that is basically what you have to do Bioware also recently started testing some of the upcoming 2.0 features with the introduction of the Guardian tokens. Some of them use Masterwork Ember, some of them use Epic Ember, some of them use Rare. So those are some of the benefits of scrapping some of these things and just keep on stocking up on them. The upcoming progression system will also include multiple uses for all your embers. So you want to farm and have as much embers as possible because we don't know what the positives and the negatives of these new features will be. So even if you see blues around the world, I know a lot of us don't want to pick it up because we don't want to fill up our backpacks. When you see your blues and your purples, pick those ones up and in most cases, just ignore your masterworks and your legendaries the game will automatically send that to you if you ignore them. The second tip is going to be for you to ignore most of the hardcore challenges or some of the crazy challenges that you have in the game that is going to only reward you maybe 2000 coins or 400 coins. The reworks will be changing the reward system and it will also be changing a lot of those challenges as well. They will improve how you earn reputation from different factions. Remember, based on the Bioware blog for the 2.0 system, the only things that will be staying is the javelin movement, the combats, the abilities, and the lore. The rest of the game will be getting a major change, so you don't have to worry about the rest of that. Bioware also confirmed that the challenges will become motivating and will give you meaningful rewards, which is the benefit of waiting till those updates before you decide that you want to do some of these things. The third tip is going to be to hold off on buying anything from the store, either with shards or with coins. Just continue to stack up on your in-game currencies since they specifically say that they are reworking the progression system and the loot system. They also confirmed that things such as Cataclysm will return, so don't be in a hurry to buy anything since we will be getting some rotations of some of these events as well in the upcoming seasons until we get that 2.0 update, so don't rush anything. The fourth and the final one is going to be to make sure that you finish the campaign of the game because that will tie in into the new progression system since currently certain things will not unlock to you until you finish the campaign. And even in the 2.0 update, if it has to make you do the main campaign all over again, anything you get within that campaign will be a bonus to what you already have. So even if you're ignoring everything else that I said on this list, always pick up your blues, your purples, your greens, scrap everything that is under the masterwork tier. Other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section and if you have other tips for other players in the community as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.